At the default view, you will find the trade name column, as well as the number of contacts within this trade. Keep in mind that the default view can be customized. We'll circle back to this shortly. To filter the contact list shown, start with the first filter option. In the drop-down menu, select the contact source. You can select contacts directly from your private address book, our public database, or both options. Choose the type of contacts you want to see. Select the status of the contact. To view only the main contact, click on the primary contact option. Filter approved or unapproved contacts by selecting your choice in the second approval drop-down menu. The approved option will show all contacts in your address book that don't need reviewing. On the other hand, unapproved contacts are new contacts added from your registration page or existing contacts that have modified details for your review. To filter a specific location for contacts, select the work areas or office location from the drop-down menu. Designate the work area of office location by typing the zip code and number of miles radius. To filter contacts within a specific trade, click on the Filter All Trades button. In the pop-up menu, select the trades you want to view. To expand the trade selections, click on the drop-down arrow next to the division name. When finished specifying the targeted contacts, click on the Filter button. The new list will show all contacts that meet your filtered criteria. To view the contacts within the trade, click on the plus sign icon to expand the trade selection. Easily edit the company details by double-clicking on the selected contact. In the new pop-up window, you can change the company status as active or inactive by selecting the toggle bar at the top. At a glance, you will easily see the company ratings as well as associated trades. To update the labor status of this company, select the Labor Status drop-down menu. If there is a new certification to add to this company, click on the drop-down menu below the certification's title. Similarly, designate the sector for this company by selecting Private or Public in the drop-down menu. If you have notes to add to this company, enter them in the Notes text field. To edit further company details, click to expand the additional company details section. In this section, you can update the company's active, inactive, minority, labor status, as well as their designated work area. Similarly, if you have attachments you would like to upload to this company's profile, click on the Attachments section to expand. You can click to upload or drag and drop files directly here. To view or edit the pre-qualifications form for this company, Select the Pre-Qualifications section to expand. As a reminder, the Pre-Qualifications form and fields are customizable with your Pantera Tools account. Below the Pre-Qualification form fields, you can find the direct contacts for this company's operations, estimating, and safety. To edit this information, directly click into each field to type. To delete this contact, select the red icon next to the corresponding contact information. To add a new contact to one of the department sections, select the Add Contact button. Enter the new contact's name, email address, and phone numbers accordingly. To edit this new contact's user's permission, click on the Permissions button at the top right. Here, you can customize to turn on or off certain project features for the new user. When finished customizing permissions, click Save. To set the new contact as the primary contact for this company, select the Set as Primary button. To make a copy of this contact, select the Copy Contact button. Give Plan Room access to your new contact by clicking the Send Sign Up link. Your new contact will receive an email notification with instructions of how to access their new account. 
Assign trades to the new contact by selecting the trades manually, or select the Mirror Trades button to copy the trades from existing contacts to this new contact. Set the new contact's work area by entering the state and county, or zip code and radius. When finished, select the Add Work Area and click Save. To clear all filters, select the Clear button at the top right of the page. To search for a specific contact name, email address or company, enter the details into the search bar at the top of the page and click Search. To change the contacts view, click on the drop-down menu at the top right of the page. Here, you can select which view you prefer, trades by company, contact, or simply companies or contacts. To submit a more specific search, select the Advanced Search button. In the new pop-up window, enter the company and contact details you want to search for. To save these search details for future use, enter a save template name and click on the Save Search button. To add a new company, click on the New Contact button. In the new pop-up window, you can add the new company status as active or inactive by selecting the toggle bar at the top. Update the new company's labor status, certifications, and sector. If you have notes to add to this company, Enter them in the Notes text field. Enter the new contacts information in the fields below. To merge existing contacts, click on the Merge Contacts button. From the list below, expand the company or trade and select the box next to the contact's name. Select two or more contacts and click the Continue Merge button at the top of the screen. Select the Destination Parent Company from the drop-down menu. This will ensure all of the selected contacts will be added to the same company. To finalize the contact merge, click on the Merge button. To customize your contact settings, click on the Settings gear at the top right of the Contacts page. In the General Settings section, Update your default view by selecting the preferred view in the drop-down menu. In the view settings, you can edit the default column shown. In the drop-down menu, select contacts for example. To show or hide columns, select the box next to the column name in the list. When finished selecting your preferred columns, click on the Save button. To change the number of rows shown on the page, click on the Rows Per Page drop-down option and select the preferred number from the list. Within your address book, you also have the option to send requests to get updated contact information or pre-qualification details. To start an updater, click on the Other Actions button at the top of the screen. Selecting Contact Information will send a request to update their contact information. The pre-qualification will send a pre-qualification form update request. From the drop-down menu, click on the updater you want to send. For this example, let's send a contact information request. From the list, select the contacts you want to send a contact information updater to. You can narrow the results by updating the filters at the top of the page. To send the request, click on the Send Updaters button. The contact selected will receive an email notification requesting them to update their contact information. To import contacts into your Pantera Tools account, select the Other Actions button. From the drop-down menu, click on the Import option. To ensure your contacts are uploaded correctly, use the template provided. Click on the Export Template button at the top right of the page. Our spreadsheet template will download for you to enter your contact details.